welcome back. When we last left our hero, he was tailing the mailman. Let's see what he's up to. Also, it's been a while. What's up, people? Well, uh, you can see why there's so much delay if our tailing is following this, someone this slow. Yeah. Go talk to the postman. Mental training. That's a little bit weird, but alright. I guess I'll try. So, uh, yeah, if you don't have the bunny hood, the timer goes twice as fast and it goes away after two seconds. And even, even with the bunny hood, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> That's weird. Why does the bunny hood uh, do that? I'm not sure. Yeah, because I remember this thing being such a bitch. 9.9. .9. Jeez, even... how close do you have to be? 10 on the dot, which I do this time, I think. Jeez, that's harsh. It is. Boom. Yeah! You earned it. I sure did. I showed my wild instincts. <laughs> okay, uh, sure. So, for the rest of the episode, you know all those side quests we initiated in the last one? We're gonna finish most of them. Does that guy need itching problem fixing? Uh, he's always itching, but I don't think you can help him. It's weird and arbitrary. Also, I'm about to get probably one of the most useful masks in the game. Hooray! Yeah. Which I'm really not supposed to do at this juncture. Of the adventure, I'm sequence breaking. Aw oh, man, we pro techniques. Yeah. Let's go to an area of the game we're not supposed to go to yet. An area of Termina, rather. I wonder why they use carrots to represent ass slapping. I don't know. Just one of the great mysteries of Nintendo. Wow, those things look annoying to actually fight. Yeah, but if you're on a Pona, they can't hurt you, so it's not a big deal. That's a tough horse. Yeah. Unfortunately, if you turn around, they will respawn. So, you know, that kind of sucks. So here we are in Akana Valley. Canyon, Valley, Valley Canyon. There's an invisible dude here. Let's talk to him. I got some medicine. Here. <laughs> so how did that guy survive being there for years? With I don't know. It's never really explained or why he's doing that hand motion. But I got the stone mask which makes sneaking sections a thing of the past. That sounds good. How does yeah. it do that? 
Uh, if you're wearing the stone mask and you do a sneaking section, like, anybody look on the lookout for you won't even notice you're there. Wow. Is that its only function? Uh, yeah, but it's really a good function. Okay. So there's a lot of, uh, stealth sections in this not a stealth game? There's at least one more, and I think there's two. Let's go get another mask that I'm not supposed to get. <laughs> I'm just fucking up shit everywhere. Well, how are you not allowed to be in the section we were? Well, like, okay, you know that big giant wall behind uh, the invisible guy? Yeah. You need the hook shot to get past that part. So you really have no reason to go to Akana except to get that mask. You know, before you've beaten the third dungeon. Wait, there's more than one of these? Yeah, there's a... Waluigi uh, looking guys now? There's three of them. Two of them run this ranch, and uh, the other one's the circus leader? I don't really understand. They're all equally terrible people, though. I have to race both of them. Thankfully, That's a real, uh, what? An effectual looking ass slap they're giving their horses. Yeah, this part's not so bad. The obstacles are really the worst part. Like, they don't know they can jump over these, like, knee-high ledges. Knee-high fences are impassable. Haven't you ever played video games? Well, they're impassable in Mass Effect 2. Especially when you get stuck on them. Man, Mass Effect 2 glitches. Oh my god. Bioware, why do you do this to me? <laughs> I beat them, and now they're gonna give me a mask. Oh, that's a cool looking mask. Yep. We have no use for it yet, though. It's one of the required masks, though. You need it to, like, access the final area. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, I noticed there's another way out of that thing. Is that, like, a special path? Uh, we'll be seeing that later on. Alright. Also, it said the guys were added to your notebook. Yep. Doesn't that mean that the quest started? Uh, it means you've met them, so like, oh. even if you complete the quest, you still met them. Also, time skip. It's midnight. Let's, let's talk to this lonely girl at the end. Man, there's a bug in the kitchen. She keeps telling me we'll talk in the kitchen, but she's just like, standing right there. I'm trying to unslow down time, because she walks so goddamn slow. Gotta stop doing that, man. Or, no, I just slowed it. Whoops. Whatever. Put this in a post box. I don't know why you can't do that yourself, but okay. Well, she wants you to run into him, so you have... But Wait, like she's scared, what? She's scared to go to the mailbox, which is literally, like, across the street from the inn. Well, 
as soon as the sun goes down, everyone turns into rapists, and she can't go out. This isn't Sonic Unleashed. Wait, why did you talk to Poop Man again? Uh, because I already did his quest, but I didn't have the Bomber's Notebook at the time, and I want to be a completionist. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, you are not a completionist. You already said you don't do all the th heart pieces. Because the heart pieces suck, and I don't need them. Oh yeah, like you need that asshole in your bomber's notebook. I do. It's important. So I deposited the letter. So now I gotta hightail it to the ranch. Prevent an alien invasion. Which is still, I think, my favorite part of the game. I'm pretty excited to see, uh, the attack from Mars. It's gonna be great. Time skip, it's 2.30. Aliens should be here any second. I want to believe... So there's aliens here now. And uh, we have to keep them from getting into the barn, because they will steal all the cows and make a lot of side quests if possible. Oh, uh, side quests become impossible if they steal the cows? Some of them. All so the I ones have... revolving around the ranch. So you have to do all of those in the same time cycle as fighting the aliens? Yeah, but it's not so bad. Like, this entire three-day cycle I'm doing right now is just dedicated to side questing. And there's a couple of things to note about this. Don't use Epona, you're gonna lose. That dog there? He always runs towards the closest alien to the barn. So, yeah. They also show up on your mini-map, but checking your mini-map all the time is gonna get confusing. Yeah, because it has a white dot on the barn at all times. Yeah. This one behind here, though, he will fuck up your shit. You gotta remember to get him. But yeah, if you use the bunny hood and slow down time, this becomes a piece of cake. Oh, because that's... Yeah, they're NPCs. Yeah. Because this takes, like, until 5.30 in the morning, I want to say. And, like, where they are is dependent on... Time, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I mean. I also like the lens flare. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, very sparkly. I like the music. I think that's the this, best touch. This is the best music I've ever heard in my life. And I listen to Wu-Tang. I think that thing already respawned. Yeah, they respawn pretty much as soon as you hit them with an arrow, but they respawn at like their starting location. So like, you can wait until one is almost to the barn and then hit it and it'll go all the way back to where it started. I don't recommend doing that though, it's a bad idea. Man, I bet the first time you ever did this, you jumped on the horse, ran like into the field to go start shooting stuff, and immediately lost because one spawned behind the barn. Uh, no. When I first did this, I didn't use a Pona because I know better than to try and attempt horseback archery. But I didn't have the bunny hood, I didn't know you could slow down time, and I didn't know the dog would run at the closest one. So I fucked this up a couple of times back in the day. A nice shooting. Thanks. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm good at this video game. How <laughs> do you keep missing it? I'm great at this game, alright? <laughs> Shut the fuck up.
I still don't know why the fuck they put aliens in Majora's Mask, but I don't care because I love it. Because they put everything weird and crazy and for no reason in this game. That's true. Sun's coming up. That's a good sign. There's arrows in there, also. If you need them. While we're waiting for this, I should mention I uploaded a bonus video. Uh huh. What's so, the... uh, you know how people in the thread were talking about how if you call the giants when you haven't freed them all, there's a special cutscene? Ah, uh, okay. I went back and recorded that. I also decided to go back and record two more special bonus videos, but I don't remember what I did. Because I haven't, like, uploaded them yet. You have the worst memory. Yeah, kinda. Man, this invasion is long. That's because I slowed down time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, you can do this, and, like, you could show up after 2.30 and theoretically still, like, do this without slowing down time, but it's such a pain. Get some more arrows. Yeah. And that sword is so tiny. We got a better one later. Looks like a dagger. Yeah. You're gonna love the mo the the uh, the best sword in the game. <clears throat> All right, we saved the farm. The aliens are gone. They melted in the sunlight, I guess. Do you get your black tunic with tie? What? The man in black. Never mind. Oh, oh, okay. I I get what you're saying. So I got I got my second Milk! bottle. I got my second bottle. I helped the ranch girl and saved the cows. Awesome. Double use recovery things are always the best in these games. Yeah. Okay, so if you wait until everybody wakes up, you can go in here. Cows aren't abducted. So if she... Uh, the older ranch sister is going to drive me to town at 6 o'clock. Well, you can just fly to town. Why do you need to... Because there's a quest. Wait, you just left t Oh, you... I thought you were gonna show us leaving town to go get a ride to town. Uh, no. Okay, now what the heck are you doing? I'm gonna go get a heart piece. Also, fuck it, I'm not, uh, what's it called? I don't need the boat anymore because I have arrows. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous. Fast. Yeah. So, uh. 
Remember that camera, the photo contest? No. Also, something interesting about Project 64, it does not like the camera in this game. <laughs> As you can I see. I noticed. <laughs> wow, okay. It knows what you took a picture of, though, so it's not a big deal. turn in our prize winning photo. I suppose the ridiculous king of the Deku scrubs is the most interesting thing in the swamp. Yeah, I would suppose. Also get that piece of heart by showing him a picture of Tingle. Because that's Tingle's dad. Is he happy to see a picture of his son like that? Uh, I don't know, I always do the Deku King thing, so... Alright. That sounds like bonus video material. It might have to be. So, uh... Postman's gonna deliver this secret letter to, uh, what's-his-face? I also have a plan. I think I have a plan anyway. Alright, I guess I don't have a plan. Why do you need a plan? I was gonna try and do that before he got there. Now I can go in here. Let's go in here. Um... Yeah, now I just have to wait. <laughs> oh. So I'm just- I'm screwing around with fixed camera angles you targeting. <laughs> Which is always fun. So, um... How did this fancy furnished area come to be before this runaway kid decided to just, uh... show up? all explained in this lengthy dialogue, which I think continues for the rest of the video. Oh, man. Yeah, I can keep a secret. No fucking way. He doesn't look nearly as creepy with the, uh, dead with eye. A, yeah, with actual eyes. eyes, he looks normal, yeah. Even with being a, an albino. Oh, no, Skull Kid turned him into a child. Wait, what? Skull Kid turned this guy into a child, and then, uh... Our good buddy, Sakon Thief, stole his wedding mask? I don't know why he wanted it, but... Yeah. Also, this cutscene really shows how much of a douchebag Tattle is. And do we really need more evidence? No, but there's plenty of that. Wait a second, wasn't this person supposed to be that fat lady's kid? Yeah. Fat lady's kid is supposed to be 20 years old. That's why, oh. he's, that's why he's getting married. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not paying attention to the dialogue, you go through it pretty fast. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. No, man, I'm... That, most people interested in this game probably already played it. It's true. So I just give oh, wait. this thing. I get it. 
She is the 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 person. His future wife, yeah. Man, I'm I'm pretty fast on the uptake. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Next time, more side quests. See you later.